What's up, everybody? Ghost Gamer here. If you are looking for, uh, well, it, it depends on if you're if you're like me and you're looking for a sound solution. You don't like using your onboard, you know, the motherboard sound, uh, and you don't exactly have enough room in your case for an you know a PCI sound card, or if you're running a laptop, what have you. There is a solution for better sound. Now, leave it to Creative Labs to make the Sound Blaster Omni 5.1 uh, surround module, if you will. This is basically a USB sound card that is just phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I like it so much more, uh, so much better than my onboard audio from my motherboard. Also, if I wish I could take it and, you know, disconnect it very simply and easily from my desktop and use it on my laptop if I wish. Now, there are some slight issues. Uh, I know if you're running a Mac, there was a couple instances where it didn't like some of the later revs of OS X. Now, if memory serves me correctly, I want to say that... That issue is with OS or was with OS X uh, Yosemite. However, I believe that issue was back in October or November of 2014, and they ended up releasing uh, a beta and an actual driver, an official driver, uh, back in no October, November, somewhere in that ballpark. You'll have to actually look it up a little bit because I can't remember. My whole principle was to use this with my desktop because I didn't feel like attempting to cram a sound card into the case. Now, some of the great things that you can actually see by the uh, picture on the screen, if you will, as multiple inputs and outputs. Uh, if you want to hook it up to um, a digital receiver, it has an optical out for it. If you want to hook it up to, you know a oh hell what the hell's the word i'm looking for if you want to hook it up to an actual you know like surround system that is made for a computer you could do that too it has the rca outs as well as um eighth inch outs you know eighth inch stereo outs uh it also has where you can hook up your headphones uh, and auxiliary input and also a mic input has volume will on top and it also has dual mics on it now I am still recording all my videos with my blue snowball because I, well either the blue snowball or the blue Yeti one of the two mainly I use the blue snowball on this when it comes to editing and things like that uh, you know more of my day job I use the Yeti either way I do not care for the audio or the uh, the microphones Per se, I more use it for, you know, actually listening to audio instead of recording. But to give you an idea, let me switch this over here. This is being recorded right now with the dual mics on the Omni box. Not with my blue right now. This is nothing but the sound from the Omni. Now, I'm not going to say it's bad, but I just don't prefer it personally. I mean, you can kind of decide whether or not you would use the microphones. That's up to you. But I figured I'd give you a nice little uh, demonstration or a comparison, if you will, between the dual mics on the Sound Blaster Omni and with my Snowball. Also, some of the things that come with the Omni software, such as like the... the um, oh yeah. Hell, hold on, let me just pull this up. Uh, you have the ability to use what they call crystal voice. You can use different uh, audio effects like female to male, male to female, uh, robot, you know, marine, all this other stuff. There's a smart volume, a small uh, noise reduction, and also focus where you can kind of channel those two mics in whether you want a narrow pattern or a wide pattern. Um, you have your SBX Pro Studio settings. Uh, whether or not you want to, you know, more of a surround sound to it, or if you want a crystallizer, you can adjust your bass. You can mess with uh, what they call smart volume, and also your Dialog Plus. 
Uh, there's also what they call scout mode. I couldn't tell you anything about that. It, I don't use it. It just says proprietary technology allows you to hear your enemies from further away, giving you a distinct tactical advantage in combat. I think that's kind of cheating. That's just me. Whatever. Uh, it has the Adobe Digital Live encoder where you can either turn that on or off. And it also has a mixer and an equalizer. All of which I kind of like, all of which I'm, well, I, I don't want to say all of which I'm using. I'm using the Equalizer, I'm using the Cinematic and the Pro Studio. I am not using uh, any of the effects. It is what it is. But you can find this typically, I want to say like B&H and some other places have it for about 80 bucks. I found mine on Amazon for, I think, 40 and you know what? I gotta say, I have zero complaints about it. I have no issues with it. It is definitely an awesome solution. If you're looking to add, you know, more of a sound card to your desktop and you don't have the room, or if you're looking to add a sound card to your laptop, in which we all know that you can't really just go in there and slide a sound card in, go USB method. I know there are other ones out there, but this is one of the ones that I actually really like. This is one that I will support. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But for now, that's all I have to say about the Sound Blaster Omni uh, Surround 5.1 mod. And for now, I'm Ghost Gamer, and I'm out of here.